Hi everybody, I'm Brian and this is the Apple Bias. Today I'm gonna to walk you through the four easy steps on how to get your iPad ready for sale. The rumors are still all over the place on when the new iPads are gonna be coming out. First it was the 16th, then it was the 23rd. Now it's sometime in April, possibly they're supposed to be going into production. But when is the best time to sell an iPad? The best time is before the new ones come out. So luckily, the iPad for most people is this secondary device. You know, they have their laptops, they have your phone. The iPad is just a nice little addition. So if you can go without your iPad for a little while, right now is the best time to sell it because you know there's one coming out. There's a lot of people in the world that doesn't know one's coming out. So let's go through those steps on getting this ready for sale. And then at the end, I'll also talk about the pros and cons on where to list it to try to sell it. Now, the first step is to make sure you have a backup because when you get your new one, you're gonna want it to be ready to go just like this one is now. And if you get that back up, you can have all your apps, your photos, everything ready to go. So you gotta decide whether you wanna back up in iCloud if you have the space, or if you wanna back it up on your computer. Either one works great. Let's go ahead and start with the iCloud section first, and then we'll move on from there. So to check that your device is backed up in iCloud, all you wanna do is go into the settings, Tap your name at the top, and then tap iCloud, and then scroll down to iCloud Backup. And then on this one, my last backup was the 29th at 7.31. So that was actually a few days ago, because today is the first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Backup Now, and I'm just gonna wait until this finishes backing up. Now, if you need to back up to a computer, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a USB-C cable, plug in your iPad. And then in the Finder, you'll see the iPad as an option. If you never plugged in your iPad to the computer before, you may have to do an initial sync. You may also have to agree to trust the computer. If it's never been plugged into the computer before, that would be done on the iPad. And if you do that, sometimes you have to unplug the iPad and then plug it back in. Now that I can see the backup option, I also see an option for encrypting local backups. I highly recommend selecting this option because it does give you a little more data with your backup. It will allow you to back up your Wi-Fi passwords. So all those passwords, your saved passwords, your call history if you're backing up a phone, your web history, health data, all that stuff is actually backed up when you do an encrypted. You will have to put in that password and you will need to remember that password when it comes to restoring the new iPad. But you get that other info. You don't have to re-put in your Wi-Fi password and all that stuff. So I recommend selecting it. So now you just hit backup now and then you're good to go. Just let it go through its process and then you'll have that backup that you can access when you do get your new iPad. Now that everything is backed up, we are ready to continue on. Next step is just to sign out of iCloud. You can do that just by going back into settings, going and clicking on your name again, and then scrolling to the very bottom and there's sign out. So just hit sign out, type in your password, you're good to go. Once the device is fully signed out of iCloud, then you can do the reset all. Once again, we're going back into settings, going into general, scrolling down to reset, and then you wanna select the option erase all content and settings. It may give you the option to do a backup again, if it does, you're free to do one again, but you just did one, so you should be fine. Just go ahead and hit erase now, and then you're going through that process to wipe everything. Now that the device has been backed up, signed out of iCloud, and erased, the only next step is to go to iCloud.com and make sure to remove the device from your trusted list. The way I'm doing it is I'm going to iCloud.com on my computer, and then I'm going to account settings, scrolling down to my devices, I can see the iPad right there, and then I can just click this little X right next to it, and this will remove it from my devices fully and good to go. There is a chance that your device may not show up on here since we signed out of iCloud first and did all that, but it still could, so it's nice just to go in there and make sure it's gone. Now that your iPad is ready for a new home, where do you sell it at? There's three main options that I've used in the past, and that's eBay, Facebook Marketplace or Swappa.com. So those are, like I said, those are the ones I've used in the past, but there's pros and cons to all. eBay, you're gonna get the item sold pretty quickly as long as you do a reasonable price, but you will have the fees. E eBay, I think, takes about 10 to 15% of what you're gonna sell it for. So just keep that in mind. Facebook Marketplace, you can sell it locally. 
Biggest drawback on that one is that you will get a lot of people messaging you, especially for you know high-end tech items. They'll be like, is it still available? Is it still available? You'll respond yes, and then you probably won't get a response. So there's a lot of annoyances to go through with Facebook Marketplace, but if you do a local sell, there's no fees involved, which is great. You can also, Facebook now has the option where you can offer shipping and ship it out. I think there might be a small fee. It may just be taxes that they take out of that. It's very, very minor. And then there's Swappa. Swappa is not too bad as well. I've used it in the past. You kind of post it on there. People can give you offers. You can accept or decline it, but it may take a little bit longer on there. So there's your options. Yes, there are a ton of more websites out there. If there's one that you use and you trust, leave a comment down below. These are just the ones that I feel safe recommending because I've used them in the past. If you guys have found this content helpful, please hit that thumbs up so I know to do more how-to videos. Also, leave a comment down below. What do you do with your old tech? Do you sell it? Do you keep it and hand it down to a family member? I do both. It just depends on the item. Thank you for watching till the end. If you like these how-to videos, I'm going to be doing more. This was the first one, but as soon as those other ones are up, I'm going to have a playlist that I can link to right here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next one. God bless.